G'day guys, Josh here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Welcome to the new events, the uh, Raka Garden, the Maraca Paradise, this new summer event, which is, uh, I guess, here right now, a lot better than the uh, Heartbeat Island event. Then again, I do miss Miss Dance Master Raquel, okay? A bit of a, the good old sway she does for the stagger check. But either way, this is the new event. To get here, basically, it's off the coast of Lutera, as you guys can see here. It's just off the coast down here of Lutera. You go from East Lutera, and then you go to here. That's where the Maraca Paradise is. And basically the Maraca Paradise, you do get a few quests to get 100 Maraca Tokens as well. So basically what you do get from the event is the Maraca Tokens. So you can see here, you get a lot of those as well. Um, basically, we're going to go through the ways to get Maraca Tokens. First of all, you get a few Maraca Tokens for starting the zone. So you start off up here, get a few tickets, take a look at the area. Go down, do a few chain quests, and you get a quest um, done and you get some Maraca Tokens. Now the downside of the event the quest you know how you can do daily on every single tune and stuff like that from the previous events you can't seemingly do the daily quest here here because today's daily quest is the photo and i can't go to this guy and talk to him to take the photo even though i've just done up my dead eye so i think that's one of the downsides is that you can't do the quest every day it seems so i'll come i'll come here on another tune to see if that theory holds up and probably put it in the comments below but it just seems that I can't take another picture, okay? And that's pretty bad, given the fact you only get 100 per day from dailies. And, you know, given the fact that you need to get a lot, you know, of the vendors, you can see you get the mocha board, you get this, the animal skin, and you, you want to get all these things before the next week's turnover. And that's going to be kind of frustrating if that is the case where you can only get a certain amount uh, per week. Now, overall as well, the extra little things you can get as a once-off is the, uh, I believe it's a legendary card selection pack, which is down here, which is a one-off. Well, not legendary, it's a legendary card pack, but you can get that as a once-off. And also, as well, you can get all of these as well. Now, I'm going to say with these, um, you can get the, uh, Mo I think it's the uh, the full Mokoko Seed or the full Mokoko Hammer kind of thing here as well, <coughs> which is pretty awesome. And also, if you didn't get the uh, Moko board from the Apology Pack, you can get a different Moko board here as well. Um, now, let's talk about how you get these uh, Mokoko tokens or whatever they are, the Maraca tokens. Is that you can do a daily quest, which you can find all across the area. Alternatively, you can do the Water Pop Arena, which you get 100 at least for doing a water gun. It happens every two hours. It's actually quite fun. It's actually really, really fun. Basically, it's like kind of like Voltan, where you're just going to send people off the arena. And that's pretty much it. That's like that's how it is. You got, you got a grenade that AOEs people off, or you got a Q attack, which is like a triangle cone-based attack. And if it hits anyone, they go flying for a bit. Uh, it's probably good to do in a group, but I don't think you can group up for the content as well. Just be aware to try to keep to the middle as best you can. And there's going to be some, like, RNG stuff where you get knocked off and you really can't do anything about it. You just chain knocked off into your death. Now, there's other ways to get it as well. So you can get it via your Chaos Dungeons as well. So you can get it via Chaos Dungeons. You can see here, you get 50 for a normal Chaos Dungeon. If it's rested, you get 100. You also can get it via Guardian Raids. So if you, basically with Guardian Raids, if you do it, you can get 100 per one. So if you want to just do a quick Guardian Raid, get two souls from, like, random figures and get the Maracas you can. And that's pretty much how it works as per se is that you can get it from garden raids chaos dungeons and the event itself and also the water pop arena i recommend the quick ways to getting it is probably chaos dungeons and garden raids on all your tunes to get enough to buy out everything and then do the quest on the island once you know make sure every day you go to the island get the 300 and that's it uh realistically you should be able to get all the uh cosmetics and all the other stuff as well there shouldn't really be a week where you're unable to do that like, this has got a really bad thing where you can't hoard it like you could previously on the other stuff. You know, on the other other events where you could do the dailies each day. But overall, like, that's its only downside. But overall, this is a much better event than the Heartbeat Island. I'd say it's probably ranked number two with Naruni GP being the top one. Because Naruni GP was a heap of fun. I loved it. But yeah, overall, like, you know, this is a pretty fun event. There's a lot of things to do. It's actually really colourful and stuff like that as well, which is really, really awesome. And... It's pretty epic. You should always just slide down on here to check out the action as well. We'll give you a quick tour as well. Just a quick tour. Apparently, there's a racing track in here as well, which I haven't actually been to yet. And hopefully, the racing track's pretty epic. Except the boat doesn't move. What's the point of a racing track if you don't have anything in it? But anyway, let's go over the main things as well. The main things you want to target right away is get the Chaos Dungeons done to get your free Maraca tokens. Get the Guardian Raids. Then, then get the uh, quest on the island. And last but not least, do the event if you need any more. I doubt you'll probably need to do the event too much if you need any more. But I think overall, you should be able to get all your honing mats and all the other stuff every, every week. Unless you need, of course, to have any life shots where you may need to do the extra steps. 
But overall, you know, I think the only side, the only uh, downside is that you can't collect everything as per se. You may not be able to collect everything if you do just the Chaos Dungeons and that's it. But make sure you do Chaos Dungeons and your ults as well. So if you do, let's just say you have a six man roster because you're FTP or have a seven man roster because you wanted to get the Hyper Express event done, you should be able to get, well, 700 from the uh, Chaos Dungeons, 700 from the Guardian Raids, 100 from the uh, one-off quest for daily, and one off, and let's say you do the water pop rain race, you get 1,600 per day. And if you get about four, eight thousand or so, you should be able to buy everything. Okay. So you should have no issues there at all. Now, with the honing mats as well, you may want to save the honor leapstone honing mats for your hyper express character. The main reason why I say that is that your hyper express character gets you a lot more rewards than if you were to use it into your mains and basically hone it up to be a bit, a bit higher. But, anyways, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed the quick guide. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Next up, I'll be doing the Hyper Express event. If you guys want to take a look. So like, comment, subscribe.